welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about how to install NetBeans 13 with JDK 17 so the things that we are going to see in this video is the first thing is like we will be installing J Java that is JDK then how to set the path file and how to install NetBeans 13 and we are going to test it with a small hello world program and also we are going to check how to execute a web project and these are the things that will be covered in this video the first thing is like we need to download the JDK and the NetBeans so this is the official page of Apache NetBeans where you can download the latest version of NetBeans 13 from this page which has been released on March 4, 2022 so here you can see the installer link which is as we are going to use Windows 10 operating system you, you can see the link of it Apache NetBeans 13 bin Windows x64.exe just if you click this you can see the link of it once if you click this link you can download the Apache NetBeans 13 which is around 426 MB which I have downloaded and next thing is like we need to install JDK before the installation of NetBeans so this is the download link of it the JDK 17 where you can see Windows X 64 bit installer where you can see the download link once if you click this you can just download the JDK which is around 152.43 MB so I'm going to give both this link in a single folder in a media file link because this can be available or may not be available in future so for that purpose I'm going to give an alternate link where you can just click the media file link which is given in the description and you can just download in a single click both the files and you can have this so first thing is like you wanted to install the JDK so now some some of you have already have earlier version of Java or JDK so first let us check so just go to your command prompt and just type Java space hyphen hyphen version and click enter so I have already Java in my system so some of you will not be having Java this, this will be the first time you are installing not a problem it will not be showing any version and as if you are having it will be showing which version you are having so I am having Java 11 so now let me go to the installation of the Java which is the first step so just double click it the JDK file which we have downloaded and you ask for the permission give yes now you can see the preparing to install window message so just click next to this step and here you can see the installation location where it is taking C program file Java JDK 17.0.2 which is a default location if you wanted to change this you can click this button and you can change your location but I'm going to leave this as a default location and click next and now you can see the JDK has been installed successful and the message has been displayed here and kindly note that the installation time varies according to your system configuration so let me click close now just go to the location so just go to the location see program files java so here you can see various versions that we have installed so this is the latest version that is jdk 17.0.2 and go to the bin now you can see in this address bar just select it and click copy copy this location so now we are going to we have finished this installation of JDK now we are going to set this path file so for this purpose just type environmental variables you can see this edit in prominent variables click open and here you can see the environmental variables button just click it so now in the system variables here in the system variables you can see various path in it so here you can see path so just click edit in it 
so just paste the location just click new and paste the location of it and click ok and now again in system variables just click new and click java underscore home and just paste the variable and place the location that we have copied just remove bin in it and then click ok and click ok now again and click ok now again so now we have completed this path file also so now let us check go to the command prompt so just type java hyphen hyphen version and click enter and now earlier we have seen that in my system there was java 11 and now you can see the latest version java 17 0.2 which is been installed now so now the installation of jdk and path file has been completed now let us go to the installation of the netbeans 13 version so we have already downloaded this apache netbeans just double click it now it is configuring the installer and now you can see the welcome to apache netbeans ide 13 installer where you can see what are the things that will be installed here so here you can see the base id java java double e html5 and php if you wanted to click customize you can click customize and you can see all the components has been selected if you wanted to unselect any of the component you can unselect but i'm going to leave it as a default and then click next and here accept the uh, terms in the license agreement and click next and important step here you can see the location of it c program file netbeans 13 you can i'm going to leave as the default location here you can see the program file java jdk 17.0.2 so in case if you are not installed the version it will be taking the which version is the you have installed you it will be taking those location so i'm now we have been it has been selected with the uh, latest version only so i'm not going to change anything in it so i'm going to leave default on it and then click next so if you wanted to check for the updates you can check it i'm going to uncheck it and click next install and after some time we can see this installation <coughs> completed successfully message and as i told you earlier the time varies according to your system configuration let me click finish and now let me open the installed apache netbeans 13 ide and now you can see the welcome screen of the apache netbeans ide 13 and now you can see we have completed the third step that is installation of the netbeans 13 now let us check with the hello world program just you can go to file menu and click new project and here you can see various options of java with mav and java with gradle java with ant and all these things so let me select a simple java application and then click next now it is activating java se components here you here you can see the project name java application one uh, let me write something called hello world here and then just click finish button now it is creating the new project that we have named it hello world so now here you can see the project hello world has been created so here let me type so let me type system dot out dot printl and hello world here and then let me run it let me run the file and here you can see the output in the console message that is hello world the build was successful message here you can see the message that we have typed hello world and now let us move to the final part of the video that is now coming to the important part of the video that is running a web application project by adding apache tomcat server now let us see how to add apache tomcat server with this netbeans ide 13 so just download the tomcat server 
so this is the official website of tomcat where you can see the apache tomcat tomcat.apache.org and i'm going to use tomcat 9 just click tomcat 9 and here you can just go to the binary distribution where you can see 64 bit windows zip just click it and you can download it which is around 12.2 mb uh, and just right click it and give extract here please note that if you are downloading with the media file link that they have given you can have this apache tomcat downloaded in it no need to go to the official website so once after extracting just let me paste into the c c c colon so just go to the extracted folder there you can see con folder just double click and open it where you can see tomcat users just right click it and give edit with notepad plus plus so if you go down you can see these roles have been commanded so just remove this command and now let me add some password for it so here you can see the username as and password must be changed so let me add some password for example tomcat 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 you can add anything let me add this line user password tomcat roles manager script username so you can just change any password and username so let me add admin and admin for your easy understanding and i am saving this and kindly note that if you are downloading the media file link no need to make these changes i have already done it and i have saved it so just you can use it directly this is for the people who wanted to download from the tomcat server and do it so i have just added this and saved it now you can close this part now let me go to the netbeans part now we need to add the tomcat server so just go to the tools and select servers option and here you can see the servers option where down you can see the option of adding the add server just click add server So here you can see the Apache Tomcat or Tom EE. So just click it and and then select it and click next button. So here you can, it will be asking for the server location. Just click browse and you need to select the C drive where we have added the Apache Tomcat 9.064 and then select open. So here you need to specify the username and password and uh, as we have already created the username and password as admin and admin and select and make it and then click finish and now you can see that the server has been added so let me close it now how to import a already created project and how to run it let us see that so just go to file menu click open project now go to any of the project source code folder which you are having so just if you can see this globe symbol in it and then click open project and kindly wait till the complete project is being loaded into the NetBeans IDE here you can see the status of it in the status bar and now you can see the project has been completely loaded into the NetBeans IDE. Just select it, the project, and then click Run. And now the project will be loaded into the web part. So kindly wait. So here you, it will be asking for the authentication. That is the username and password which we have entered in the roles part. So I'm adding as admin and admin and click OK. 
and now you can see the project is being loaded into the web part where you can see the home screen welcome to the project with the project title online parking booking system if you wanted to change this uh, into the different browser this has been opened into the internet explorer so if you wanted to change this you can also change it by going to the tools part so in the tools options part you can see the web browser where you can select the browser whichever you wanted so let me select uh, uh, chrome and then click apply and click ok so now if you run it it will be transferred to the chrome part so here you can see now it has been opened in the chrome so where you can see the home screen will come to the project and in this way you can load the project which has been already developed for the web application using apache tomcat server and Finally, I'll be recalling the points that we have already done it. So first thing is like we have done the installation of Java JDK and setting the path file and installing the NetBeans and we have tested with the Hello World program and executed the web project using Apache Tomcat by adding the Apache Tomcat in the NetBeans part. And this is all about the NetBeans 13 installation with JDK and Apache Tomcat server. And thank you all for watching.